Jackson County relatives of fallen military veterans gather to pay respects to the ones they loved this Memorial Day. Parker Boyd spoke to two Gold Star children who say their voids will never be filled. Order. On Memorial Day in Ocean Springs, people gathered to remember and honor the men and women who died fighting for our country. I still have that seven-year-old heart and she still has that 11-year-old heart. Diane Moore and Rhonda Cody are Gold Star daughters. They were very young when their fathers went to fight in Vietnam. They have never returned and remain listed as missing in action. They say that you need to be my big girl, take care of your mom and younger sisters and brother, and um, I'll see you when I come home and he didn't come back. Cody says her father loved flying and lost his life during a chain sweep mission. My daddy's body was pulled from the plane and why do I call him daddy? Because I was seven. That's what every little girl calls her dad. It's okay. In Gauche, families placed flags across the lawn of City Hall to give tribute to the ones they lost. You can carry on their lives um, with others. Um, and honor them for what they did serve in our country. Memorial Day is observed on the last Monday of May. It was originated in the years after the Civil War. It became a national holiday in 1971. For many, Memorial Day is just another day of rest, but veterans say they hope events like this teach the younger generations about the true meaning of the holiday. Some people think it's because school's out, it's time to go have fun, but this is ultimately the most expensive holiday in the world because of all those that did not come home. Gold Star children hope that lesson will give the nation a different understanding of Memorial Day. Just hearing someone tell me happy Memorial Day, it's not happy. I live it 365 days. They say their father's legacy will live forever, as well as the many other service members who paid the ultimate sacrifice. In Jackson County, Parker Boyd, WLOX News Now.